Kirk Duckwell here with Mastermind the Market, real estate stats for the Twin Cities area. Why is this the best seller's market ever? We'll get into that in just one second, but first make sure you click on that subscribe button. We know that knowledge is power and the more knowledge that you have about our Twin Cities market, the more that you can leverage that to your advantage. So again, click on that subscribe button. People who have been watching this for a while might wonder what happened to Market Monday? Well, we have a lot of interest in this information that we've been putting out and it's getting shared out to more places and platforms. So we thought this was the best fit for that. So hopefully all the same data that you enjoy, plus maybe a little bit more. All right, let's dive in. Showings per week, per listing, median sale price range, Minneapolis, St. Paul, 200 to 400K, actually dropped a little bit was an 8.6 down to an 8.57 total showing activity dropped off as well from 3524 to 3324 this is the first sign that maybe the uh, amount of new listings coming into the market we'll touch on that in just a second is actually slowing it down slightly however i was discussing with colleagues uh, before making this video it also may be just because it was really cold outside so that's something we're going to be keeping an eye on Okay, I mentioned best seller's market ever. Why is that? So that showings per week per listing and looking at it, not just in Minneapolis, St. Paul, but across the Twin Cities as a whole is a key indicator into the speed of our marketplace. And it's the best that we've ever seen. And the demand out there is the best we've ever seen. Uh, we've been talking about the market meter uh, maxing out. We'll show that again in just a second. And all of this is due to the incredibly low inventory, which is which is creating this best seller's market ever. So that's the driving factor there. That's why I'm making these statements is the data is showing it with the inventory and that total uh, number of showings that's happening per listing out there is just incredibly fast. We are seeing listings picking up as mentioned last week, week over week. Um, so looking at the uh, week of the sixth up to a 1117 and actually the most recent data that I saw last seven days running it was at about 1237 and so that's pacing actually ahead of pending sales by a couple hundred which may start to help ease that market as we talked might happen over the next few months from our resident mortgage geek uh, Chad Preby Bell Bank Mortgage so looking at interest rates, they stayed relatively flat if we look uh, Thursday the 28th through uh, February 11th. Not much movement until Thursday, Friday uh, last week. Things started to move up a little bit as far as uh, looking at economic forecasts, whatnot, push the markets up. So rates are closer to around 2.8% now. His recommendation is to lock on that if you are going to be buying in the next uh, 30 to 60 days. So that's something else to keep an eye on there as well. Okay, market meter talked about that. Yep. Low inventory, we're still at a 10, not much movement at all <laughs> there, and still don't expect much over the next few weeks. But if that trend of pending sales, uh, bigger gap between uh, listings, that may start to ease that up. If we start to see that showing activity peeling back, that might break it off of that 10. But as I mentioned to a client last week, you know, somebody who goes up to the top of Mount Everest and walks back down just five feet, they're still pretty high up. So it's going to take a while to really ease the market. But it's good to see maybe a couple signs out there. So for sellers, my recommendation, don't wait until June. Because as fast as things are moving right now, we may not have the buyer interest there by the time it's green outside, like we say. You wait until it's green you might miss out on some green and look like looks like this year even more so for buyers just continue to be patient it's crazy out there right now but there are some good signs hopefully you found this information valuable take care be safe again click on that subscribe button have a great week